Are you racking your brain on the question, am I using the right word for to know in Spanish? Well, by the end of this video, I guarantee you'll never be confused again just by remembering two simple concepts. Let's get into it. In this video, we'll be doing a deep dive into the basic ways you need to use the verb saber, and we will not be mentioning that other verb. We're just focusing on the verb saber. I'm going to help you learn and understand what the verb saber means in Spanish, how to use all the forms of saber in conversation, and why this acronym said will leave zero doubt on when to use the verb saber. And if you're joining me for the very first time, soy profe Don Omar, and I've been teaching Spanish for over 23 years. So if you want to find out some of the easiest and most creative ways to learn and acquire Spanish, you've come to the right place. Now, let's get back to everything about the verb saber and that acronym SED. The first thing we need to take note of is that the verb saber in Espanol and the verb to know in English cannot be directly compared to one another based upon the different reasons on when we use the verb saber in Espanol. Unlike the word to know in English, saber has specific guidelines as to when it should be used. Okay, ahora vamos a empezar con la primera razón que necesitamos usar el verbo saber. We're starting with the first reason that we need to use the verb saber. Saber is to know knowledge of facts. In Espanol, Vamos a decir el conocimiento de hechos. El conocimiento de hechos. Por ejemplo, yo sé la capital de España. I know the capital of Spain. That's a fact. That's something that I know. Otro ejemplo. Ella sabe todas las formas del verbo. She knows all the forms of the verb. Entonces, en nuestro acrónimo, la primera letra, la S, so in the, in the acronym said, our first letter, the S, we're going to say that it is say things you know. I know the capital of Spain. She knows how to conjugate the verb in all forms. Now, I must say, the way I'm teaching you el verbo saber and the way I was taught the verb saber, two totally different situations. The way I was taught it was, el verbo saber significa to know facts or information. And that was it. We went over conjugations two or three times, like a couple exercises, and then we moved on to the next verb. That was it. So for you, we're going to make sure this thing sticks after watching this entire video. All right, let's jump back into it. So remember, we're talking about the S and said, say things you know, right? So the first one, yo sé que el sol es una estrella. Yo sé que el sol es una estrella. I know that the sun is a star. Usted sabe que más de 580 millones hablan español. You know that more than 580 million people speak Spanish. Saying things that we know, right? Knowledge of facts. So, la segunda cosa, información. Hey, before we get back to the lesson, I wanted to give you a free gift here just for hanging out with me today. This is my 12-step comprehensive jumpstart to Spanish cheat sheet for becoming a better Spanish speaker. And I guarantee you, it will get you on the right path without an actual teacher or coach working directly with you. Simply click the link in the description below to download your own PDF copy today. Now, back to the lesson. Okay, ahora tenemos otro ejemplos con la información. Entonces, la A in el acrónimo, the A in the acronym, ask or answer questions. Por ejemplo, ¿sabes cuántos continentes hay? ¿Sabes cuántos continentes hay? We're asking, do you know how many continents there are? In una respuesta, in a response, aquí tenemos, si sí, ellos saben cuántos planetas hay en nuestro sistema solar. Yes, they know how many planets there are in our solar system. Okay, aquí tenemos la tercera razón, how to do something. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo hacer algo? How to do something. Nosotros sabemos hornear galletas. We know how to bake cookies. Tus padres saben hablar francés y portugués. Your parents know how to speak French and Portuguese. We're talking about knowing how to do something. La I en el acrónimo said, 
Instructions you can follow. Por ejemplo, yo sé hacer un pastel de chocolate. I know how to make a chocolate cake. Obviously, you had to follow some instructions to make that chocolate cake. El otro ejemplo, Carla sabe los pasos para grabar un video. Carla knows the steps for recording a video. There's steps, a process, instructions, ¿verdad? La D en el acrónimo said, do things you've learned to do. Por ejemplo, Pati y yo sabemos montar motocicletas. Ellas saben bailar salsa muy bien. So Patty and I know how to ride motorcycles. They know how to dance salsa very well. So before we land this plane, we're going to go through a couple examples so that you can see this more in depth. What I want you to do, though, as we go through the examples, see if you can identify which letter in the acronym said falls under each category for these sentences. Okay, vamos. Okay, la primera. Aquí tenemos yo, ¿verdad? Yo sé preparar tacos. Yo sé preparar tacos. Tú. Tú sabes cuál ciudad es la capital de México. Tú sabes cuál ciudad es la capital de México. Él. Él sabe hervir agua. Él sabe hervir agua. Ella. ¿Sabe cuántas onzas hay en una libra? Okay, so I can't let you go without giving you a pro-face power tip of the week. And this week's power tip is this. Use the word day con una forma del verbo saber to talk about how much someone knows about something. Aquí tenemos usted. Usted sabe algo de química. You know something about chemistry. Nosotros o oh, nosotras. Depende. Nosotros no sabemos nada del océano. We don't know anything about the ocean. Ellos o ellas. Ellas saben poco de matemáticas. They know a little bit about math. Or mathematics, which, you know, whatever you prefer. Vosotros o vosotras. Recuerda, solamente en España y algunas personas usa vosotras en Latinoamérica también. Pero la mayoría en España. Ok, el ejemplo. Vosotros sabes mucho de computadoras. Y'all know a lot about computers. Y ustedes. La misma cosa, ¿verdad? En Latinoamérica, pero en España es la forma formal de vosotros o vosotras. Ok, aquí tenemos, ustedes saben jugar a voleibol. Now, remember, what I want you to do is go through the examples that we just did here and identify which letter in said each one of these examples falls under in that acronym. You know, I swear to you, the last two things that we just covered, you know, saying like, how you know how uh, saying that someone knows how to do something and then using de con una forma del verbo saber. I had to have been absent every time they went over that. And I'm talking about, you know, five levels in high school and then all throughout college. I missed it every single time. So either I missed it every single time or they never talked about it. But whatever. All right. I've given it to you. That way, you know to definitely use it. You know. Uh, see what I did there? I want you to always remember this. Siempre recuerda esa. Repetition is key. Always remember that. Repetition is key. I can give you this acronym. I can give you examples. We can talk about the verb saber into the cows come home. But if you're not putting in the reps, you're, it's never really going to stick for you. So you've got to put the reps in con el verbo saber y todas las formas and use that acronym as your foundation to help you understand when you need to use the verb saber. But before we land this plane, I want to talk about two specific things that I really need to know. Does the acronym said help you when it comes to figuring out when to use the verb saber? And the second thing along the lines of the acronym said which letter sticks out to you in the acronym? Which one is something that resonates well with you? Let me know that in the comments, as well as, is this acronym good enough for you? Of course, if it's not, you can make up your own, right? Definitely take the same information, work it, make it make sense to you. 
Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the tips and strategies and easy to follow lessons to help you speak Spanish. And then the second thing I want you to do is to see if you can share this with someone that you know that is working to learn Spanish. That would mean so much to me. And lastly, if you're looking to continue on your journey to becoming a better Spanish speaker, I want you to check out this video right here that has been personally selected for you. And I'll see you over there. Soy Profe Don Omar. Nos vemos.